Hello and welcome. In the last video, we discussed about the structure of the clean architecture and we have a structure here. And today we will write some code and uh, we will write controller, we will write uh, an interface and then we'll move forward. As I was uh, focusing on the structure, I found out that uh, there is an inconsistency in the names of different files. So as you can see, this controller is actually book and controller. So the book and the B and the C is in capital. But here in the data layer, we have book underscore data. And then we have model book underscore model. And then we have a book service. Uh, I mean, this is a, not a very proper naming convention and it would definitely uh, causing the confusion. So whenever you design your application, you must follow a convention, whatever your convention is. You can use some standard conventions or you can create uh, a, a convention based on your uh, company standards. Let me rename some of these files and that will be very helpful uh, for us as we move forward. Okay, so now we have uh, consistent uh, data. I mean, the structure is consistent and the naming convention is, is much, much better. Now let's write the interface and uh, we will define the values and we will define the methods actually here. And uh, then we will use those methods and we will implement those methods in the service and data layer. So let's write the package, package interface and uh, let's write the interface so we will write type um, book service book service and we will define interface so in the interfaces we only declare the method signature and nothing more than that so let's declare a method and let's write a very simple method so i'll write print a book title right and in print book title we will take the context so ctx and we will say context dot uh, context and here we will take a parameter uh, as a the book parameter the the model object so this method will accept a book parameter and from that object we will extract the name so for that we have to write the book first i mean we have to declare the book structure so here in the model we will say type book and it's a struct okay and let's simply write two simple things title which is a string type and uh, author which is also a string type that's it nothing uh, more than that and let's come back here and we will say book and uh, we will take model dot book right and we will save this so okay we have this uh, this issue which is calling expected ident found interface so uh, actually interface is a reserved word in golang right as you can see here we have declared the interface uh, with the name of interface so we cannot declare interface as a package name or a variable name so we have to change the name here so we can say intf interface right intf so okay and now next is the model so undefined actually the model is uh, outside of this package so a uh, so uh, if you see we have two two packages one is the uh, two folders you can say one is the bookstore and the interface is actually outside so i think the better is to to put the interface inside since it relates to the book a uh, bookstore so let me move it to the bookstore and here i have moved it okay so now the the error has gone and also let me rename this package from interface to intf intf 
Okay. Now we have declared an interface. We also have a model. Let's save this model as well. And uh, now we will write, we, let, let's write the controller, right? Now let's write the controller. So let's say package controller. And in this controller, I'm going to uh, first declare an struct. And that struct will have a field of a service. Uh, actually, the service interface, the interface we just defined, the book service. Because we, we will, uh, the controller will call the service layer using the service uh, interface. So let's declare the controller struct. So we will say type book controller and into struct and in this struct i'm going to take the book service as a variable and that will be intf dot book service okay so i i have declared a variable with the name of a book service and that is a type of interface book service because the actual service will implement this book interface right okay now i'm going to declare a method let's say func and uh, it's kind of a initialization of the controller so i'll say new book controller and this will take echo contact which will be we can echo dot echo and then we have a book service we're going to take the book service and the, the same it the, the type is the same which is intf dot book service and within this method, I'm going to create a controller handler. I can say controller handler. So it's my, my method, uh, sorry, it's my variable. And here I'm going to uh, initialize the, uh, the struct, which is my book controller. And within this book controller, what I have is uh, I say book service and I will set this book service let's say book service object I'll set this book service to the book service object okay and I'll explain you a bit more about this. Let me write some the methods. Now here we can write echo context dot let's say uh, get dot uh, the intelligence is not working dot get. Here we can say let's say print author. Here I can say so let me write some name um, book controller book controller handler right book controller handler book controller let's say we can say book controller object that's much better I'll say book book controller object dot now here i will uh, i will i will write method so i haven't written any method let me write a method here so i'll say func now this will be a type of book controller right because this method belongs to book controller so i will say book and this will be book controller right the the struct type and here we can say
print author and this method will take uh, an echo context so you will say ec and say echo dot uh, context echo dot context okay let me save this now let's understand a bit more what this code is doing and uh, why we have these methods so uh, first we have a book controller struct now this is a book controller a, de a declaration of a structure and in this structure we have a book service we have declared a book service which is a type of book interface book service interface why because a service a book service can have a multiple services service one service two service three right but all those multiple services will inherit from the interface so that is why we have an interface here right and we are passing the interface we want the interface object to be here to to be passed so if we have three services we can pass service one or service two or service three to this controller right so uh, we have we, so we created the book controller object and in this book controller object we will we are setting the book service which is uh, this this variable and we are setting this to the past object whatever has been passed here right don't be confused if you are not getting this when we will write the main method where we will go to the main method here and we will write we will declare the service and the controller so i will then explain you what i'm trying to convey okay for now you can you you just try to understand that we have this service interface and then using the service interface we can pass different service objects and then we only have one method here it's just because of simplicity so now here i can call this print author method i can say book controller dot print author right so whenever I will try to hit this URL, whenever I will say HTTP localhost 8080 or whatever slash print author, then this method will be called and whatever I would write in this method that will be executed. Okay, so for now, I think this is enough and in the next video, we will write the service and then we will pass the service to this controller and then we will see uh, how this whole mechanism is working. So, see you next time.